All right, what's going on, everyone? This is Owen. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. I got my hair cut, if you guys can't tell. I think it looks awful right now, but I think it looks better when I actually style my hair. I just haven't done anything today. It's Sunday. I started school last Friday. Yeah, we started on Friday. I'm not really sure why. I'm a junior now, and... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty chill, you know, I'm junior, it's, you know, whatever. Today, we're going to be talking about how you guys can make money on YouTube and pretty much how to pretty much, to pretty much do it, you know, pretty much. Yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to tell you the easiest ways to do it, easiest ways to make money on YouTube, easiest ways to make money, um with your YouTube audience off of YouTube and everything like that. But before we do start, there will be a link down in the description. You guys can go support my Patreon page. I will be doing a giveaway on my Patreon for exclusive Patreon members. So all you guys gotta do is subscribe to my Patreon. Yeah, just subscribe to my Patreon. Um, there will be giveaways there. Every time I do a giveaway, they'll be there. So if you guys support me every month on Patreon, then you guys will be have, have access to the giveaways um, this month is going to be around like the 250 to 500 dollar range of a uh, giveaway um so if you guys want to go win something free go ahead and go support my patreon down in the description yeah that's pretty much it that's, that's my patreon page so starting off you're not gonna make money right away no one does no one can it's pretty difficult unless you have like that for some reason have like a very small but, yeah. Hmm. That's weird. What? Are you on right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you hungry? Mm -hmm. What? What are you thinking about bacon? Uh, is it your helper? Alright. Yeah? Sure. Alright. Good talk. So, no one can really make money off of YouTube. Unless you have like a weird small core fan base that's gonna give you the support and everything, but it's very unlikely. Now, don't think these results are gonna come so easy, like they're gonna be instant because that's not how results work on YouTube. You gotta work at it. Like, people always ask me how I got to where I am, and everyone thinks it happened overnight. That's why I get a lot of people who say, everything I have is fake but if you guys really look at where I started and what I did from the start you would understand that none of this happened overnight so like I mean unless I was yeah I don't really know everyone seems to think that this stuff happened overnight and I just gained a whole bunch of subscribers and then I am here like doing what I'm doing but that's not how it was at all when I first started YouTube took me around like a month to get like really into the uploads and I was uploading every single day for four months and then like that's I think after four months of uploading every day that's when I hit 100 subscribers but none of that was easy like that was not easy to do it was just kind of because I was networking I made a lot of friends I did a lot of things in that area of networking and stuff like that and that's how I gained my first 100 subscribers but I will go into more detail on another video later, probably this week, around how to gain your first 100 subscribers because, like, I know that's a lot of, like, the big peer pressure is, like, getting over that hump of the first 100 subscribers, which is very difficult, but it's very attainable and very easy if you break it down from different um, spots and, like different point of views and stuff like that and you put some keynotes on there then you can break it down and it can become very easy if you just have a system and have a plan throughout doing it that um, will make that a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable experience to actually go ahead and do that. So the first way you can do it is the conventional way that is doing 1,000 subscribers in four is it I think it's 4,000 hours of watch time and that way isn't the most effective because it can be very difficult to get your watch time. I know for me getting your watch time is 
was the most difficult thing for me to do because like there's been there was times where the because it has to be in the past 12 months and at the time I really hadn't been uploading for 12 months straight I took kind of a break in there so like pretty much just past the 12 month mark so my first vlogs are starting to kind of come up as watch time instead of like there was like a six months gap where I was uploading for six months, but it's really hard if you're a small creator to get those 4,000 hours of watch time in six months because like it's, the, it's not coming easy. Like that's an attainable goal. If you're uploading for a year straight and you're building your brand and you're building your audience and that can become easier as time goes on and easier to obtain and maintain that 4,000 hours of watch time. So the most effective way that I've seen is a lot of people think that you need so many subscribers to make money and you need so many subscribers to live off of YouTube when that really isn't the case. Um, I have been doing a lot of research lately and I had come across this theory uh, pretty much 1,000 real, real supporters. That's all you need. And if you really, really think about it, the more you build your brand, the more you build your audience, the easier this goal becomes to obtain and everything kind of falls into place like a really good puzzle, pretty much. Like, if you have that core audience and you keep building them up and you keep building their trust, they're gonna wanna support you no matter what. Now, I don't believe I have, like, cause, 1,000, that's half of my subscribers. I don't even get 1,000 views on my videos because I do have a lot of dead subscribers because of the break I took and the content switch I took um, around a year ago. That is my goal is to obtain this number of 1,000 real supporters. How you go about doing this and how you go about maintaining these subscribers and having them support you on your real like living off of YouTube pretty much would be there's many uh, subscription based websites out there but the one that I've seen and the one that um, is very uh, effective is patreon as you guys have uh, as I said in the beginning of the video I do have a patreon page so if you guys are watching this and you do want to support me to make sure my content gets better and everything like that all the money that I do make will go back into um, my content and so that's what pretty much I'm doing right now is building up my content and how I do things around here I do have this space that I uh, that I'm going to be transforming into my studio that I do want you guys to it would be nice you know to have support and uh, some help doing that one of the best things about Patreon is that there are different tiers and different incentives to pretty much go about um, getting people to actually support you that way. There's different ways that you can have different content and different um, incentives to pretty much get them to subscribe and do that. So one of the best ones that I've seen is I, I do support people on Patreon, so uh, I don't, that's one of the things about being a YouTuber is I also support other YouTubers, and like, I usually, I, I'm subscribed to a lot of people around my size, and I do support a lot of people around my size as well. Now I do, I do support the TMG podcast, um, that's one way you can do it. If you have a podcast and you want to have like early releases and stuff like that, you go on Patreon and you have listeners who want to listen to it early and keep up and support you, then that's one way you can do that, is put your podcast on Patreon. Another way that you guys can have incentives is exclusive merch. Um, if you have a high enough tier, you can even send free merch. But technically, it's not free. You're pretty much paying for it, but you're also supporting and that you, you're able to um, get the merch because you're supporting and then they're able to send you free merch because you're supporting with that money and it kind of goes hand in hand. So if you are a small creator, just know that you um, are pretty much in reach at all times to make this a living and make this a job. So don't ever give up on your dreams. Don't ever let anyone tell you that this is a stupid 
and uh, irrational goal because I will attest to this, I'm going to prove a lot of people wrong by making this um, my job and turning my hobby into something that supports me and people around me. So with that being said, um, that's the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like, make sure you guys go check out my Patreon, think about supporting that. Check out my Twitter, check out my Instagram, and my Snapchat. So, so yeah, guys, that's right. I'm out.